everyone, Tiara here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. I have gotten a couple requests from a few friends to do a eucalyptus and mint soap, and I thought I would finally oblige on that. So starting off, I am not adding my lye solution to this. I'm actually adding some mint tea to this. I minus two ounces of water from my lye solution so that I can replace them with this mint tea. Just plain mint tea. There's nothing else but mint leaves in that. I'm going to blend this into my oils first before adding my lye solution. So now that the tea is mixed into my oils, I'm going to add my lye solution that has sodium lactate and tussa silk in it. My oils have coconut milk powder and kaolin and clay as well, and I am just going to whisk this together. I'm going to work in two layers, and I feel like whisking works with layers because it gives you more time to work with your batter. And I'll split this into two, I'll split this in half <laughs> into two buckets and do some lovely shades of green for this eucalyptus and mint soap. It's more like eucalyptus mint tea soap. And it's already starting to turn colors because of that tea in there. And that is just the lye reacting with it. And that is fine. It's not going to affect the end product of this soap. So once I feel like this is mixed well enough, I'll bring my bowl over here and show you what colors I'm going to be working with. Lots of green shades. layer I'm going to be working with is a darker green. I was going for like a greenish blue and I've mixed, mixed together some sea green mica from Nurture with a little bit of Swamp Thing from Soapbox Micas. And it doesn't have to be exact. I'm also adding in some of the mint leaves from that tea. For a little bit of design and a little teeny tiny bit of exfoliation and just to add some more mint into this design and into this bucket i've got some matcha powder some french green clay and some alfalfa powder and these are all natural colorants i feel like this soap can't decide whether it wants to be all natural or not but it is a bit of a hybrid Lots of all natural, ooh, we're gonna put that one to the side. I'm not even mix that up yet. Lots of all natural aspects going on. So let's give this a mix. Plan is to pour this in and let it sit up. Do a, I guess a charcoal mica layer or pencil line in between the layers. I don't necessarily want it to be a straight line, so I might play in it a little bit and just mess up that layer before I pour on my charcoal. All right, mixing this up. So the fragrance is by Brambleberry. It is called Vitality. And it has notes of rosemary, mint, sage, and ginger. And there's some essential oils of eucalyptus, patchouli, and ylang ylang. It says it behaves well and it does not discolor. So let's mix that in by hand and we'll start pouring off my first layer of the soap. Alright, for the top of the soap, I am just going to take a fork and 
make some line designs on top. Soap is looking a little brown right now, but I have strong feelings that it will go to a more green color. <laughs> Crossing my fingers, that is the hope for this. So I've had this Vitality oops, fragrance sitting on my shelf for a while. It is one of the four fragrances from Brambleberry's Spa Retreat Collection. On the side of this, interrupting my thought, I have got some coarse European sea salt and some eucalyptus leaf botanical. Just going down the side of that with this. Yeah, it's been sitting on my shelf for a little while. It's because I don't like the smell of eucalyptus. To me, it is very potent, very medicinal. And I guess that's because when you're sick and you can't breathe, you use things like Vicks or um, vaporizers in order to help you breathe and clear you up. And so I just relate eucalyptus to being sick. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea. Um, I don't hate it as much as I do rose fragrances, but it's just not something I want to rub all over my body. Some people do like it, like my friend Erica and my friend Jackie, they were like, if you ever do a eucalyptus mint, so they want some. So, this is for the people who, who like eucalyptus, and since I don't like eucalyptus, this is a reason why it's been sitting on my shelf. I just could not come up with a design for this soap. Nothing really inspired me. I am keeping it pretty simple with this design, but I just saw lots and lots of greens going into this soap. So, that is the top of this soap. I'm going to give it a spray with the rubbing alcohol. I'm going to throw... No glitter on this. <laughs> Thought about it. Um, let it sit for 24 hours and I'll bring you guys back when I go to cut it. Turned it on its side, gonna cut off a little end piece here. It's looking a little more green, right? That top half is green and not brown. It did go through, oh, I'm showing you the end piece, like woo. <laughs> it did go through a gel phase, it heated up and hopefully that helps those colors really pop. Um, it has a bit of a ring around it, but I'm thinking We'll get into this some more and see what it looks like. I am a little bit disappointed. This is interesting. I wonder what that line is going to do with the eucalyptus leaf on top because that did turn brown. Can't be mad at it though because when you put botanicals on cold process soap, it tends to happen. It is a reaction that the botanical has and most botanicals do that. So, it's fine. At least the rest of the soap turned out the way that I wanted it. Yep, it still smells like um, nasal decongestant. <laughs> Love these colors, though, so I can get down with the fact that this soap is pretty. It doesn't smell pretty to me. Personal opinion. It's one of my more simpler soaps. I did keep it very simple. Um, but it's about the the ingredients on the inside. I went a little crazy with the ingredients. So that makes up for it. If you guys want to purchase this soap, it will be available on June 26th. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give me a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you like what you saw, any questions or comments, leave them for me in the comment section down below. I love chatting with y'all. Until next time, I hope you have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.